Yo, what's happening guys? Austin Moore Skills Gaming, and today we're going to talk about making cakes in Pal World. Everything you need to know about making cakes, how to get started, what you need, and what they're good for. So, let's get right into the video. So basically, in order to make cakes, you're going to need flour, red berries, milk, egg, and honey. And I'm going to show you where to get all those ingredients, so don't worry if that sounds a little overwhelming. But basically, if you want to get flour, you first have to get wheat. You can get wheat by getting this wheat plantation right here. Uh, you're going to need to get wheat seeds. So how do you get wheat seeds? Well, you can get wheat seeds by defeating higher level uh, grass Pokemon. Uh, they'll typically, they'll drop wheat seeds. And once you have wheat seeds, you can just plant the wheat seeds in your plantation. Once the wheat is done planted, uh, your Pokemon right here will water it and it'll grow some wheat. So the next step to get flour, you're going to need to put the wheat inside this mill right here. Uh, basically, that's going to turn it into flour. So we're going to go ahead and make 20 of those. This pal right here has a level of level three watering, so it's pretty good. And I think it's going to start watering it. Anyway, that, that's how you get flour. All right, so the next ingredient that you're going to need to make cakes, you're going to need to get berries. Now, berries are relatively easy to get. I'm pretty sure everybody probably knows how to get berries unless you're just now starting and you're a super uh, beginner, but just in case you are, I'll go ahead and break down how to get berries. But basically you're gonna need one of these berry plantations right here and you're gonna need to get some berry seeds. Now you can get berry seeds from lift monks, I do believe. I do believe uh, lift monks drop berry seeds. Also the, uh, the gum moss, this guy will drop berry seeds. Uh, also I'll show you lift monk and lift monk right here. Now you can find lift monk right here uh, you can find this guy in this general area. But that's how you get berry seeds. And now obviously, you know, once you get berry seeds, it's kind of the same process as growing wheat. You just throw the berry seeds into the plantation. Uh, either you or your pals will start watering them or, and planting them and it'll grow some berries for you. So pretty simple. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna need to get is eggs. Now you can get eggs from Chicky Pea over here. Uh, you can find Chicky Pea in the lower level starter areas. But basically, Chicky Pea will lay eggs inside this ranch right here. And in case you don't know how to get the ranch, you unlock it uh, relatively early in the game, but it'll appear right here once you unlock it. But yeah, you stick a Chicky Pea in the ranch, it'll lay eggs for you. Now, how do you get milk? You can actually get milk from this beautiful beast of a cow. He'll produce milk. Uh, you just need to put him in the ranch like all the others and you'll get milk. Now you can find the cow in this general area on the map. And finally, you're going to need to get honey to make cakes. Now you can get honey from probably a multiple different pals. I think there's more than one bee in the game, but this is the bee that I have. Uh, bee guard. Bee guard can actually farm you honey if you put bee guard in the ranch right here. Now bee guards are a little difficult to catch because they can self-destruct, but even if you can't catch them, if you just take your fox park and just, you know, flamethrower all of them, you'll get tons of honey that way. But I highly recommend catching one just because, like I said, you can put them in the ranch and they'll actually make honey for you inside the ranch. Now if you want to catch yourself a bee, you can find them in this general area on the map right here. But yeah, that's basically all the pals you need to start making cakes. Now, if you want to like optimize this whole entire process, I recommend having one of your base dedicated to just food production. That way you'll get so much more ingredients that way. Uh, this base right here that I have going on, this is my home base, my home base slash production base. I have another base that I use for mining ores and another base that I use for getting more food. Not only do you need the pals that make you the ingredients, but you're also going to need pals to do your planting and watering for you as well. That way, you know, you, you can just go out and explore and they'll take care of all this stuff for you and you come back and you have a bunch of cakes. I also recommend getting a Pokemon that can do transporting. Anubis right here is a beast for transporting, mining. He's just an all around beast. Uh, also a beast for like handiwork as well. So let's go ahead and make a cake. I can make up to 41 cakes. Nice. Now, I recommend getting R socks for kindling. You can also use um, Fox Parks, but I think R socks is a little bit better on the kindling side. R socks is level two and Fox Parks is level one, I do believe. As you can see right here, he's working on the cake. Now, even though you can fully automate this, from time to time, you still may have to monitor this because I've noticed that 
there is a lot of bugs and, and glitches with like the PALs. Like the PAL based AI isn't really that intelligent and a lot of times they get stuck in certain places, especially if you have like bigger PALs. I've noticed my bigger PALs a lot of times get stuck. Like this guy right here, I have no idea what this guy's doing. He's just on top of my food bowl. Is he is he gonna be eating? I don't think he's eating, but he's just he's just chilling. Like if you're gonna chill, chill near my refrigerator. <laughs> that way at least you're doing something productive but whenever that happens whenever your pals get kind of glitched up all you really need to do is go over to your pal box right here and find the pal that's glitched up take them out of the box and just put them back in the box it basically kind of responds them. But yeah, the higher level of the kindling, the faster the cake is going to make. I may get rid of some of my torches around my base because it seems like my fire Pokemon, they prioritize my torches over my cooking, which isn't really that efficient. I can live in darkness. I can't live without food. All right, so now that we got a cake done, I'll show you what you can do. So I already have one of these uh, celerays in here. I'm actually going to breed a celeray with a Relaxosaurus. And if you do that... I'll show you what you get. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get my Relaxosaurus out of here. Now, like I said, this is not a breeding guide, but I'm just going to show you what happens. All right, we're going to go ahead and lift Relaxosaurus, and we're going to put him in the box right here, the, the breeding pen. Now, you do need one male and one female in order for them to breed, obviously. All right, we'll go ahead and put some cake in the box right here. Now what's kind of cool is the cake actually does not expire in the box, which is pretty neat. It says it has a timer, but it does not expire. And as you can see right here, it says love is blossoming between the two pals. So they're going to make us an egg. And that's basically what cake's used for. I guess you can eat it too, but let's be honest. I think we're all going to use cake for breeding. Now you also want to be mindful of the food consumption of your pals. I've typically noticed that when pals are consuming food in the food box, they will typically go for the very first one first. So I usually have an unlimited supply of berries from my other base. So I usually put my berries in first. I actually have like a few hundred berries on my second base for my mining crew. All right, let's check on Fox Parks. Are you still cooking? All right, Fox Parks is working on the second cake. And here we go. We now have an egg thanks to our cake. So we'll go ahead and, whoops, we're going to snatch the egg. All right, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to put the egg in the egg incubator, incubator. And we'll go ahead and set this in here. Now, I recommend going into your settings and turning the egg hatch rate down to zero. That way you don't wait. In my opinion, it's just a better experience. I don't want to wait like 30 or 40 minutes for my egg to hatch. So, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and hatch it. And we got an Anubis. So that is a good way to get an Anubis pretty early, actually, if you want. Yeah, you can find uh, the Manta Ray in, in this area over here. And you can find Relaxosaurus in this general area. So not too far out from the starter area. You have to venture out a little bit. But yeah, put those two together, you get an Anubis. Now, as you can see, Anubis is a complete beast right here. Level 4 handiwork, level 2 transporting, and level 3 mining. I think Anubis is like a way better worker than Dig Toys. I used to like Dig Toys, but now Dig Toys is just overrated besides you know whenever dig toys is mining all you see is a bunch of ones on the screen so he's not even really that great for mining in my opinion and he eats a lot he eats like a thousand times more than anubis over here but yeah guys that's pretty much it uh everything you need to know about cake making if i did happen to miss something be sure to let me know down in the comments and i'll see you later